Hi, welcome to the Quick Surgery Workshop. My name is Christoph, and we are busy building an etching press. Last week I came this far, so I promise that this week we'll start with the bearings and um, the, the roller. Um, unfortunately the, the top roller was a little bit rusty um, because it was in storage for a long time and I had to clean it, so it took a lot of my time. Um, I'll show you a clip of that process. Um, that's, um, what you see there is the roller in the lay and I've put a set up there with some water mixed with vinegar and there's a steel wool on top with some weights and I left it to run like that through the whole day and uh, it seems like most of the rust is gone now and uh, also sanded it a little bit with uh, fine sandpaper, so it seems to be fine. But I need to um, do something about protecting it from rust. Bottom roller I painted, it's not a big issue, but the top roller is on the blankets, it, it must not rust. So I'll dedicate a whole video on that, what I'm going to do there. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but let's carry on with today. Enjoy the video. You can see that the wells are almost flat, um, it just needs a little bit of grinding, but um, there's enough well there to hold that bracket. So I'm very happy how it came out. Do the other side.
This is the threaded rod I'm going to use. I'm putting a nut on so that it's easier for me to to cut it straight. You see there with a nut on then I can cut it nice and straight and all I need to do is measure it the right length so I've already cut another one I've cut them both the same length Um, also, what I'm doing is the surface here, I just give it a slight dome so that when it turns and it goes in the bearing, um, it doesn't have an uneven surface that turns on that uh, surface here. this this part um, the previous press that I built I uh, welded that nut in but it, if it is a little bit misaligned then when you screw this thread down and it comes to the bottom if it's a little bit misaligned then it doesn't match up with the bearing there so I decided not to weld the nut in and, and rather make it uh, floating um, so that's why I went through the trouble of creating that extra part with the holes and tapped it. So that, and also the advantage of this is, if ever this knee, this nut needs to be replaced, uh, if it's worn, it can just be a, a few bolts that you loosen and you loosen those nuts, and you take the nut out and replace it with a new one. So now that this is ready. I can install uh, this part. I'm not going to do the other side now because the roller must still come in. Um, this part comes in like this. Then these threaded rods go through. But instead of having nuts on the inside here, I have these stainless steel tubing uh, uh, tubings that's going to be the spaces to keep this uh, apart and uh, that's also a nice surface if you need to fold your your blanket over it's all shiny
So what I did here is I inserted the nut and I turned the threaded rod all the way into that nut and I've put a piece of paper here so remember that bottom piece of this threaded rod is uh, grinded a little bit round so it's pinching the nut in between this so to make sure there's the minimal play in this area I've, I've just put a, a paper there as a spacer and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill a hole, a little hole through and tap it right through the nut and through the threaded rod um, and that will then lock these two parts together so that when this threaded rod turns it will lift this roller up and down. What I have here is a grip screw, um, a long grip screw that can be put in with an Allen key. So that goes into that hole. So just before I put in this grip screw, I just want to show you the, the length of the grip screw versus the, the nut. It's just short shorter than uh, that length so i didn't thread the with the tap i didn't thread all the way through um, if you look at the end of the tap it is tapered so i stopped um short of the end um just almost there so that i can actually turn this in tightly because if the hole was tapped all the way through um it will be a problem it can then turn further and go out on the other side of the nut so i'm going to turn this is the m5 uh, grip screw and the m5 tap hole <clears throat> watching I hope you enjoyed the video um, I didn't get as far as I wanted to like always there's a lot of unforeseen little things that charge up time but I'm happy uh, where we at um, for now this is sorted out so this is adjustable already um, next week um, I'm going to start working on this. This is uh, the, the main gear. It's going to be geared down with a chain drive to this axle in that bearing. And then this rusty uh, tube 
that's bent round. This is going to become the, the drive wheel. Um, I think it's going to be on this side. I, I, I can still decide which side to do it. Um, so that's also a complete episode in the making, making of that. Um, so I hope you have a great week and see you next week.